So who is excited about the new Gucci movie? Now before we get too excited, I have one disclaimer. So everything that I talk about in this video is public information and available on Google. I have no capacity to check any of these facts. And of course, with the movie, it is based on a book. It is sensationalized to say the very least. And every article that I read about the movie vary a little bit in their detail. So I'll certainly take this video as pure entertainment. Go and grab some popcorn because this is going to be a long one. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Danny. I am super excited for today's video because it's going to be all about Gucci. In terms of the layout of this video, I will be sharing information about the movie as well as some related details. To break it up a little bit, I'm going to be alternating these details with bags from the current collection. Without further ado, let's get started. The movie is based on a book written by Sarah Gay Forden, which was published in 2001 called The House of Gucci. There are two main characters in this story, the first one being Mr. Maurizio Gucci, who was former head of Gucci Fashion House and also grandson to founder of Gucci, Mr. Guccio Gucci. The second main character of this story is Patrizia Reggiani. She is the ex-wife of Mr. Maurizio Gucci and she was charged with arranging the murder of Mr. Maurizio Gucci after he left her for another woman. The movie is set in 1995 and we will be watching the murder trial of Patrizia Reggiani as well as her eventual conviction. Alright, let's take a quick break to have a look at a bag. The first bag I want to talk about is the Gucci Dionysus. I still really love this bag. I think she is structured, she looks really powerful, really put together and she is iconic Gucci. The very first time I laid eyes on her was when I was in Florence and I was in the Gucci flagship store. I don't own her but maybe one day. She comes in leather, canvas as well as denim. One of my besties do own her in denim. Oh. <laughs> My favourite size is the small and you can adjust her shoulder straps so that you can wear her as a short shoulder bag or a long shoulder bag. Leave me a comment, do you still like the Dionysus or do you think her time is up? Reggiani was an affluent Italian socialite when she married Gucci in 1972. They were a power couple and of course led a very glamorous life. And then in 1985, Gucci said to Reggiani that he was going away on a routine business trip but he never came back. Oh well. So what had happened was Gucci had left Reggiani for a younger woman, Paola Franchi, who was and still is an interior designer. The breakup lasted nine years and apparently during this time, Reggiani was sending Gucci death threats. The divorce was finalised in 1994, one year before Mr Gucci was gunned down in front of his Milan office. Rajani was dubbed the Black Widow for hiring four accomplices to murder her ex-husband. The day after Gucci was murdered, Franchi actually received an eviction notice to evacuate the luxury apartment that she was sharing with Gucci. Subsequently, Rajani moved into that luxury apartment with her two daughters. Rajani organised the murder of Gucci to prevent the marriage of Gucci to Franchi because that would have halved her alimony. Reggiani continued to live in that apartment for two years until her arrest. The second bag that we are looking at today is the new and improved Diana bag. I personally love this bag. Some people don't like the neon straps but I like them because I feel like it provides the bag a point of difference and it makes it look really trendy. The neon straps are really there to maintain the shape of the bamboo top handles because the bamboo is prone to straightening or uncurling themselves so that's what the neon straps are for. Apparently, if you don't really like these neon straps, you can remove them while you're using the bag. But once the bag goes into storage, you have to put the straps back on. Rajani was initially sentenced to 29 years in prison, but this was later reduced to 26 years. In year 2000, Rajani attempted suicide by hanging herself with a bedsheet, but this was prevented by prison guards. Eventually, Rajani was released in 2016 after serving 18 years in prison for good behaviour, and she now lives in Milan. Okay, this next bag I am absolutely obsessed about, the Jackie 1961. Oh, look, I don't see it around much, but I did see Saki review it, and of course she has it in the colour pink. And I love short shoulder bags because they remind me of the 90s when I was using these bags as a teenager. It also doesn't have a big Gigi logo on it, so it's very subtle and no one knows that it's Gucci unless they know the bag. And I so can't get over this green. It is like quintessential Gucci. So in terms of the cast of this movie, it was really star-studded. So I'm not going to be talking about all of them, otherwise we'll be here forever. In terms of who played Rajani, there were a number of great candidates to play this character, including Angelina Jolie, Anne Hathaway, Margot Robbie, Penelope Cruz, Marion Cotillard, 
and I feel like I've missed somebody else. But in the end, we have Lady Gaga. Now, if you didn't know, Lady Gaga originally wanted to be an actor instead of a singer. I actually really like Lady Gaga as a singer, and to be honest, I've never watched any of her movies. Guilty. I just don't have a lot of time to watch movies anymore. I mainly watch 10 minute YouTube videos. So this will be Lady Gaga's very first movie since 2018 when she did A Star Is Born. So it seems that initially Rajani was really pleased that Lady Gaga was going to portray her. But later on, Rajani expressed disappointment that Lady Gaga hadn't made any effort to contact her or to meet her. And it became apparent that the movie producers actually did not want the pair to meet so as to not condone Rajani's crime. In terms of the other actors, we will see Adam Driver play Maurizio Gucci and we're going to see some other really big actors like Jeremy Irons, Jared Leto, El Pacino and Selma Hayek in this show. I really love this new Gucci tote but look, I'm going to make a comment here. I've never said this before but I have a love-hate relationship with Gucci's new logo. I mean, it's starting to grow on me a little bit. It's taken a few years. But when I first saw it, I was like, why are there two GGs next to each other? It makes me think like the brand has changed its name to Gucci Gucci. <sighs> I still much prefer their old logo where there's an upright G as well as an inverted G. Anyway, going back to this tote, I think it is absolutely beautiful. The leather, oh, it's so obvious and present when there is such a big piece of leather. It really reminds me of the Hermes box calf. According to Gucci's current CEO, Mr. Marco Bizzari, they fully cooperated with the production and gave them full access to the archives for wardrobe and prop. You may already know that Gucci today does not belong to the Gucci family anymore. In the 1980s, there was significant conflict within the family and Maurizio Gucci attempted to gain control of the company from the rest of his family. This led him to make a few poor business decisions and eventually he had to sell off a large share of the company and this subsequently led to the Gucci family being completely ousted of the company in 1993. The fashion house is today owned by a French luxury group called Curing and I can see how this movie will be a huge win-win for the fashion house today. There's no such thing as bad publicity. So we can be sure to be seeing a lot of eye candy in this movie. Ah, oh, this bag, the Aphidia small top handle bag. Ah, oh, Kelly vibes, anyone? Oh, I think it is so pretty. I'm always a sucker for a top handle and a crossbody bag. This bag only comes in canvas at the moment, which is the Aphidia line. I am personally not great with Gucci canvas. I've owned it before and I think I'm just not gentle enough. So I look forward to them making this bag in leather. I think she's absolutely stunning. Oh God. The Gucci family has really come out to say that they're going to be unhappy with the movie. They stated that the book was highly inaccurate and therefore the movie will be too. They also expressed how they were unhappy about how some megastars were casted to play characters that had nothing to do with the murder. So as I've already hinted before, a lot of this will be an exaggeration of the truth to make it more exciting for us and ka-ching ka-ching for Hollywood. I also read about how the family disapproved of El Pacino being casted as Aldo Gucci and Aldo Gucci is uncle to Maurizio Gucci. Apparently all the Gucci men are really tall, handsome and elegant and they felt that El Pacino didn't really have that kind of silhouette. So this 1955 horse bit small shoulder bag if I was a camera, I want to be in this bag. I don't own a camera bag, so I'm always on the lookout for one. I think this one is so elegant with the horse bit in front. So again, no Gigi logo. <laughs> I like the slip pocket in front so you can put receipts in there. This bag might just knock the Saint Laurent Lou camera bag off my wish list. Hmm. The movie premieres in the US on the 24th of November 2021 and in the UK on the 26th of November 2021. The rest of the world, we're going to get it later. Australia, we're always the last, I think, to get movies. <laughs> so if you watched the movie before me, come back to this video and leave me a comment and let me know if it's met your expectations. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny O and I'll see you in my next video. Feel free to come and check out the rest of my lifestyle channel. I have three main playlists on my channel, all of which are linked in the description box below. The first one is full of practical tips for parents, especially useful if you're expecting a baby or have really young children. Because I'm really passionate about bilingualism and starting children on more than one language from a really young age, I created this fun playlist dedicated to English-Chinese videos for children. 
And then my third playlist is on fashion where I like to talk about luxury and mindful spending. If you like any of this content, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get informed every time I upload a video. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram.